am so excited about our guest today. Um, he hails all the way from Los Angeles, took a red eye to get here, and has so many important truths to share today. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Dr. Ben Lim, and thank you so much for coming and being here. It's gonna be a great day. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Jen. It's an honor to be here, and uh, it's a beautiful sanctuary, and uh, I'm excited for the show. Yep. Before we get too deep, though, I'd love for you to take a look at this. Now, that was just a little tiny portion of a huge, big ministry that really is touching the world and taking the millennials by force. You know, one thing that I love about today, as I've just prepared for you to come, is our love for the Hebrew roots and biblical gematria and the feasts and the calendar. And I'm so touched at your level of knowledge and who you've run with and, and just those deep wells and how you've learned and embraced it and, and teach it. You are a great teacher. Oh, thank you. So how, okay, I wanna talk about your testimony and your story, but first we'll just segment. How did you fall in love with the feasts? Well, uh, you know, when you love Jesus and you realize that Jesus Yeshua was a Jewish man and he still is a Jewish man, and that he's coming back to Israel, yeah. a certain specific location that was allotted, plotted, promised to the covenant people of God from the beginning of time. Then you begin to realize that the Bible, the Torah, is so rich and filled with revelation. Yeah. And you can only find it in the Hebraic roots. You can only find it uh, within the culture of Israel and the history of Israel. And so at a younger age, as I was hungering after the Lord, I said, I need to understand the Bible more. And as I began to study and read the Bible more, no, we shouldn't believe in replacement theology, no. but we have been grafted in. And as I began to understand these revelations and truths, my eyes began to open up and I began to experience the power of God even deeper. And the Bible became even more rich and real and personal to me afterwards. So then that's when I started going deeper uh, into the Hebraic roots, foundations and the feasts and especially when you go to Israel, truly, oh. when you step into the Holy Land, your life will never be the same again. It's true. It's true. You're taking a group, right? I am, yes. Do you next still have year. openings? Uh, we, we have a few, yes. Okay. So how do they find you if they want to go? Well, next year in 2023, we're taking a group to Israel, probably around Pentecost, Shavuot time. So if you want to follow us, be a part of our group, go to benlamglobal.com, and uh, we're going to have a wonderful, powerful time. That's awesome. Yes. Well, thank God the country's open, that we can Absolutely. go back. It, you, you, you said it correctly, it changes your life. It changes the way you read the Bible. It changes the way you think. It is profound. And um, I just love that you are in love with these things because it's, it's huge. And you're, you, are, you are gathering people and they are becoming interested as a result of your passion. Absolutely. And I think... Again, you know, in the past, you know, there's still the Messianic movement, right? Yes. And so a lot of times there's different extremes. Yes. You know, uh, my generation, the younger folk, you know, we look at the Messianic movement and we see tambourines and flags yes. and prayer shawls and, you know, it kind of has that old Pentecostal feel. Yeah. But, you know, there is a fresh way to That's represent right. the feast and the revelations and the truths. And it's fun. Yeah. It's powerful. It's supernatural and there's a blessing in it. Yes. And so, you know, I feel like it's it's my job, my duty to uh, represent that properly and to bridge that gap between the generations. I love it. It, it is profound and it is awesome and I applaud you for oh, thank it. You. I really do. Um, so I wanna talk about your story because you have a story. You were a PK and uh, you got radically saved um, but you kind of went left before you came right. 
So kind of share with everyone, because it makes us appreciate so much more where you are now when you see kind of how God connected the dots. Absolutely. Well, the cliche is almost true uh, that, uh, you know, that PKs uh, will go left before, before yeah. they go right. And, you know, I had, I had a rough childhood and uh, there was a lot of abuse in the family. And even though my father had a thriving church at the time, uh, you know, there was, uh, you know, just a lot of drama. And then afterwards, uh, my birth mother, she left the family. There was th that divorce. My father had to let go of the first church. And in the Korean culture, there's a lot of shame and a lot of condemnation. And after she left, I went straight into drugs. I went straight into bullying, which led me into drug dealing and led me into gang activity, uh, you know, coming in and out of jail at least four times, wow. five times felon as a minor. But my stepmother, uh, who came into my life about one year after uh, my father's divorce, uh, she was a prayer warrior and she really stood by our family and d dug her heels into the <laughs> ground and really prayed and really saw uh, the breakthrough in our family. And, you know, I was living in the world uh, for seven years, you know, uh, middle school to high school. And, uh, but right at the age of 18, uh, I feel like that's when all the prayers of my parents finally were answered. And this is me going to church two, uh, two to three times a week, yeah. excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to church two, three times a week. I'm playing in the worship team, drunk and high, pretty much every service. I'm selling drugs from my dad's church. And, you know, I'm in church. I'm serving in the church, but, uh, you know, I'm like a dead zombie. But then finally at the age of 18, there was a desperation that happened. And the undercover police, the police officers, people were looking for me. And it was at that time I said, I need a change in my life. And I came to my parents. I said, guys, can you get me out of here? Because I know if I'm in the same place, I'm going to remain the same. I need a radical change. And my parents said, yeah, let's think about it, pray on it. And uh, some of the possibilities, it didn't open up. And one day I prayed and the Spirit of God touched me. Oh. And uh, I remember I was sitting on my bed uh, and the moonlight was shining through the blinds. And I said a simple prayer, I said, God, I hate my life. Oh. And I know my life is meant to be more than this. So if you're real, answer my prayer tomorrow <laughs> about leaving the country. Uh, I knew I needed to flee the country. And uh, the next morning, my father wakes me up and says, Ben, do you want to go to Australia? And uh, so it was with YWAM, uh, Youth with the Mission. And one month later, uh, I flew off and I never looked back since. And I was 18 to now. I started the ministry at 19 years young, uh, you know, uh, pastoring a church in the streets of Los Angeles, wow. homeless people, drug addicts, uh, you know, gangsters. And, uh, you know, that's how I started ministry at the age of 19, because I wanted to see souls saved. And from then to now, I've just been pursuing the glory of God because I'm hungry. Yeah. 